Hey, Mr. Anderson. Hey. Mr. White. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Anderson, we're using Google Earth right now, and I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to use a couple things. So we're only going to use this button right here, okay. the yellow pin, okay. and we'll also use the ruler right here, okay. and that's it. So okay, gotcha. what you're going to do now is you're going to click on that yellow pin, and you're going to drag it to somewhere on the... Do I have uh, to hold on to it? Hold it down? No, see, see, it just showed up there. Oh, there it is, okay. So now drag that, uh, drag that somewhere on, just on the, on the edge of the land there. So just right, how about right here? Uh, let's go on the edge of the land. See the end of the pin there? Oh, oh, right on the end. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Good? Perfect. Okay. All right, push OK. <coughs> All right, so there's our initial spot. Okay. So now what we want to do is we're going to sail at a bearing of zero degrees for, let's say, 20 kilometers. Okay. So you're going to go up and click your ruler button. Okay. Okay. Once you move that ruler thing out of the way. Yeah. So now this is a little finicky, but uh, click on the very tip of the pin, and you can just let go of it. So click down and let go, and then drag it up. So you can see here, there's a heading. See the oh, heading yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like right that. now it's 358 degrees, which is almost zero, because 360 degrees in a circle. So if I just get it, to, there we go. There we go. Close and enough. And then that's 90 kilometers, so I only said 20. Oh, sorry. So I go I down to. wasn't listening there. Oh, well, maybe we can make it up. Let's go 50. 50? 50. So try and get close to zero degrees. Oh, God. 50. Oh, man, this is fun. Oh, I actually let go of it. You can grab it again. Go to the edge there. Good. Click, yeah. on. Click and grab. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Let's take some practice. Good enough? Good. Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right. Click. Perfect. Save. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, what did I do? I have the... I've got some. Okay, so this is good. So now go up. Now this is perfect. See, now it says a, bit, a heading of 180. Hey, why, why does it do that? Because you switch the points around. Oh. Ah. So you got to switch them. Yeah. That's good practice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. <coughs> that's good. Okay, almost perfect. Good enough. Let her, let her down. Now, how do I make sure I don't? Okay, one click. Did I do it? You did it. Okay. All right. So now, what we'll do is we'll put, click OK, and then we'll, we'll click. Yeah, there you go. Okay, like right there. Yeah. Okay, where should I click now? Right on the thing. Just put it right there on the end. Okay, I like that. Now what we'll do is we'll sail at a bearing of 90 degrees. So what direction would that be? Oh yeah, so a bearing of 90 for 100 kilometers. So we want to go straight east. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Drag her out, 100 kilometers, 90. All right, that's good. It's close enough. Perfect. Save it. Save. And I'm getting the hang of this. Take a pin. I'll push OK there. Oops, yep, gotcha. Yeah. Pin on the end. And that will be your third location. Do you want to go right here? Yeah, perfect. And for this whole task, now click OK there. Now for the whole task, that's what you're going to do. You're just going to click where you go. Now the point is, is that you can only measure places that you've actually sailed. So I can sail somewhere for 50k, I can sail somewhere else for 100k, but I have to use math to determine how far I've gone from my original location. So you can use Pythagorean theorem and solve how far I am away from my original location, but you can also just use the ruler to check it, to check your answer. Okay, but they have to do it. So you can only okay. measure what you've actually okay. sailed. You can't measure what uh, you haven't sailed. So click on your original location and then click your third location and there you go. 
you've gone 64, or sorry, 110, 111 kilometers, and I'm sure if we did the Pythagorean theorem, we'd get somewhere around the same thing, right? Sure, and that and that means that angle right there is 64, right? Correct. That's, That's also a bearing. bearing of 64 degrees. Yeah. So if I so we can check so that. if I uh, went a heading or a bearing of 64 degrees for 110 kilometers, I get to the same spot. Yep. Good. Makes All sense. right. Good luck. Find out where we've sailed in this great big ocean. Yep. Have fun on the journey, everybody.